God is good each and every day. God is even better yesterday, and he'll be greater today and even greater tomorrow. All yeah. right, you believe? Yes, Lord. Amen. I'm grateful to be just standing in the presence of God. Yes, Lord. And that I can see you and you can look back at me. Yeah. And bless New Year to each and every one of you that are here under the sound of my voice. It is so good to know that the gospel of Jesus Christ reigneth forever. Yeah. And in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, yeah. it speaks on, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which yeah. I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. So when Pastor Banza comes and brings the gospel, the word of Christ to us, we must be able to stand on the word of God. Yeah. If you cannot stand on the word of God, you'll sit for anything in life. Come on. All right. Therefore, by which ye also are saved, uh -huh. if ye keep in memory that I preached unto you, yes. unless you have believed in vain. Yes. When you have asked for a miracle and God gives it to you, is your belief greater? Or has your belief been in vain? Yes, Lord. Answer that question yourself. If God gives you what you ask God for, and he'll add more to it as your faith increases, then take God for what he said. Yes. I'm the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Yes. I will not leave you, nor will I deceive I you. So if I will not deceive you, nor will I forsake you, what is, I ask this question, what is the one thing that God cannot do huh, is one thing that God cannot do. He cannot lie. lie. He cannot lie. That's right. Why can he not lie? Uh -huh. Because he's shaped yes. in holiness. Yes. And holiness, there is no God. Come on now. Man. There is nothing that you cannot ask God for yes. if you believe it. Yes. It might not come right away, yes. but it's a guarantee that if you keep the faith yes. and don't give up, that God will send it. Yes. Therefore, in verse 3, for I have delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. So that means that our Savior Jesus Christ did do what? He died. Yes, he did. Right? Yes, but the question is, why did he have to die? Yes, Lord. Because of the sins of the world. Yes. And the payment for sin is what? Death. 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 Yeah. So therefore, the perfect lamb had to come and die for our sinful soul. Yeah. Because if Jesus, the perfect one, never came to die and left his home in glory, we would never have a right to be on the right hand of God like Jesus is because Jesus is the joint heir to yeah. God. So therefore, if he is the joint heir, he's the heir, and we're the joint heir because we're connected through Christ Jesus. Yes. Now in verse 4, and that he was buried. Now he didn't just die. All right. He was buried. Mm -hmm. And he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And that he was seen of Caiaphas, then of the twelve. After that he was seen of above about 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present. But some have fallen asleep. Yes. If you do not believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, then what else are you going to believe in in life that's true? All right. You see, truth always makes way for continued form in life. Yes. If we can honor God in everything that we do, then we should be happy. Because when he woke you up this morning, yes. and you were not sick yes. or shut in or destitute, yes. and he gave you breath into your lungs again, and you began breathing, and you understand that only God brought you to this place yes. in this time. Yes. And if God gets ready to take his breath away from you, there's nothing you can do about it. All right. You cannot write your death wish. You can't write your time of death any more than you can write your time of birth. All right. The doctor can tell you what they think the time of birth is going to be. All right. Or they anticipate the time of death. Mm -hmm. But no one knows the exact moment that yes. God breathed yes. the breath All of life right. in All your right. body and you became a living soul. All right. So therefore, who can counsel God and yes. say at any particular
particular time, yes. God is going to take the breath away. Yes. Yes. He might not take your breath away, but he can take your finances away. All right. He might not just take your finances away, but he can put cancer on you. Yes. He might not yes. just put cancer on you, but he can make you so depressed yes. that you don't know what you're going to do. Yes. But God said, I come yes. that you might have life. Come on now. But he's always on time. Yes, he is. You're talking about God. Talking about God. 